Hey folks, Sheldon from the Outlaw Speed Shop. And I uh, haven't had a video for a while. I've had some medical issues and spent three days in the hospital. But I think I'm getting better and getting past that. Still got some issues. And uh, so um, I've been working at the bench a little bit. And I had an idea of this little 50 Ford Roadster pickup after I did the 50 Chevy Roadster pickup. So I thought I'd make a cousin. And uh, so I've been piddling around with it and everything. And it's getting long. I uh, got the, just got a few more things to, to do, some detail stuff. Got this little 3D printed tractor grill I'm gonna use and I just fixed up a radiator so got that headlights windshield um, you know tail lights you know all the little piddly stuff you got to do afterwards I think I'm gonna put some wood planks in the bed and also we have a new puppy we have Lucy and she's down here chewing on my shoe so if things if she starts chewing on that no no we're working here little girl so we got a canine now to go with the rest of the with the cats and and uh it's a good thing because she loves to terrorize them and uh so far they all get along good um so that's that um i wanted to talk about the engine that's in this this car and it comes from uh, 3D Texas 3D Customs, and I bought. I saw them online, and I uh, looked through there, and it got a very large selection of of all kinds of engines with all kinds of variations. Um, so I picked up, I don't know, five or six uh, to to try. And this is the first one I used. It's the Arden. And it has a little Scott blower on it. It's got three carbs. And also it comes with a inje uh, fuel injection and an injector hat, which I'm not exactly sure where that is around in my pile of stuff here. But I like the three carbs. Uh, it comes with a manual transmission, which is basically looks like an old truck four speed and everything um and the the pity of the, or the whatever it has lots of detail on the transmission lots of detail on the engine actually and um oh you know what the body is not attached so well and you can't really you can't really tell the problem was is i had to do a lot of removing of all of the cool details to get it to fit in my uh channel roadster body here so uh it was too bad that i had to get rid of that detail but it is there uh shift linkage it's got a shifter um and the 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 detail the belts are very very nice um everything fits together real good um it comes uh you don't have to take it off of the little sprues it's already cleaned up i had a little bit of cleanup to do on the headers uh, in between the tubes, but uh, just, I mean, two seconds and that was done. So that was really nice. And like I say, I put everything together, everything fit perfectly, and I'm pretty impressed. So uh, hopefully I'll be using more of them. Um, I've got a really cool um, Buick nail head, a blown Buick, and another flat head, a um, couple other things. Um, he's also coming out with a couple really cool engines. Um, first of all, I, I bought a Ferrari V12 out of a, I think it's 65, what they call the GTO. Um, just because it's cool and it's got like six carburetors on it and some really cool headers. And I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but when I saw it, I thought, yeah, I got to have that. So I, I picked that up and again, I don't know, um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but he is coming out with a V12 of the Ford sock motor. 
Um, there was a, it's a fictitious motor, it's not a real one. Um, there was a picture on the internet on Facebook a couple weeks ago, and it was a doctored photo. It showed uh, like three engineers back in the 60s looking at it, and you know, it's got three, four barrels on it and whatever. Uh, but still, I, I'm, I think th that stuff is really cool. Um, especially like if you're building a roadster or some kind of hot rod. Um, so anyway, um, that'll be out. I think that he's going to have that out pretty soon. So, um, let's see what else. Um, and I'll be doing some, uh, actually reviews on these engines here in the near future. Uh, he's got a, the Chrysler Dodge Plymouth, whatever slant six, bunch of different variations. Um, LS motors, uh, Coyote motors, the whole, you know, the whole nine yards. And, um, you know, they're uh, very reasonable priced. I think they're $20, 23 if you get a transmission, so somewhere around there, which is, which is, you know, I mean, I used to sell my resin engines for $25. So, you know, uh, really nice and really good quality. So um, I'm real happy with that. I will show you, and the one thing on this engine that really, that in my mind was the coolest things, was these headers. Make sure I'm getting it in there. Anyway, it's got these really nice long tube headers, and uh, obviously you can see they fit perfect underneath there. They fit perfect up to the engine, and uh, so anyway, anyway. I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit because uh, I'm pretty interested. I still got to do, I'm going to put some spark plug wires on here and some, probably some fuel lines and whatever. So this little, this little guy, um, let's see, I'll try to get in the cab here and see if hopefully it focus. I use some of the door, the, the little, uh, I don't know what you, they're not door panels, but the door inner workings from the, from the, from the Model A, so kind of got a little detail on the inside of the doors there. And um, let's see, and this fits on here. And like I say, I got that little grill, and I just kind of went through and grabbed parts out of my little parts bin. I believe that the frame I started with was a 47, 48 Ford Revell frame, and I just started grabbing some par uh, parts. Uh, it was kind of, one thing that was kind of cool is it does have a, a closed drive line loop and the transmission was set up for a closed drive line which I thought was really cool so uh, nothing fancy like I say uh, just kind of altered a few things to get it to fit made a little motor mount across the front um, so you know nothing 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 fancy so that's what I've been working on and uh like i say i should have this thing finished in a couple of days i just got uh i just painted the radiator and i gotta paint the uh hey what kind of bug is that i gotta paint the uh um gotta paint the grill and i think i'll probably end up doing the uh headlights kind of like i did on the last one i think i'll end up just drilling a hole on each side of the grill shell here and uh mounting the headlights right off the grill shell um i ended up cutting i mean it had the grill had it had all kinds of extra stuff so i cut a bunch of it off got it got it to fit the way i wanted it to and basically i just cut a little notch as you can see in the bottom here and so this thing fits right on there and then the radiator slips right down on on the inside so that all that's all good and what else i guess that's about it i've been doing some painting uh like i say it's hotter than hell here i think it's 106 or 5 again today been that way it looks like it's going to be that way forever and so i've been doing a little bit of painting i've had these several projects up here that have been sitting so um i got my studebaker over here that's uh everything's in primer anyway so at least it's it's that far 
and I did start working on a little 32 coupe the other night other day um, it's an old AMT kit I don't know how far it goes back or whatever uh, only thing I remember on the box is it had these big ass wheels and tires on it um, I don't know if it had anything to do with the old original uh, American Graffiti Coupe by MPC I don't think so it was full fendered but anyway it was a chopped five window and the reason I liked it is because it had the it had the uh, cloth top on it which none of the other 32 bodies um, that I had had a cloth top um, also it had a pretty decent frame um, I used the uh, the front axle really, really nice chrome which I usually don't use and then I mounted a rear end in it from the the Revell 32 Ford and so anyway that one's in in progress it's uh, most of it's in primer and stuff like that oh here's the here, oh here's the uh, dashboard the I put some white glue or the canopy glue over the instrument panel so it'll be look it's got some glass on it put a little bare metal foil on there just kind of touch that up a little bit so we got that for this uh still got to get a steering wheel steering column you know just the little tail lights all those little miscellaneous parts that come at the end that uh you know aren't that much fun but but uh let's see wheels and tires i think think are from the 48 uh, Ford also I believe I believe that's where those came from also so that's the ones the the hubcaps though I think came from the 32 uh, coupe the five window uh, coupe um, almost positive but not a hundred percent so um, Anyway, that's all that's that's all that's been going on, and I'm feeling better. Still got to get some, do some doctor stuff and whatever, but you know, I guess that's just part of getting old too. So, um, hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, you know, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if it's your first time here. Welcome to the channel, and try to get more videos. It just seems like life always gets in the way, you know. So. But uh, we're trying to move forward and, and trying to get some stuff done. And like I said, I got a bunch of projects here that are in the process. So hopefully you can get some of those finished up. And, you know, always starting something new. So, okay, folks, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you all later.